So today I'm going to talk a little bit about the new asynchronous profiling functionality that is coming to ZO2, hopefully making it a bit easier to understand what your code is doing and where you should focus your attention. So let's look at a short example, sort of why should you even care about all of this work? Let's look at how classical profilers, you know, from Java and other Scala applications interact with fibers in ZO's runtime. Then we're going to look at a new breed of profilers called causal profilers. And then we're just wrapping up everything. So this is Bob. Bob watched our nice Zio world presentations, all the nice pictures for Zio 2.0. And he goes home and proposes to his team, let's write our new service using Zio. Everybody agrees. They are brainstorming what kind of technologies they should use. And they agree on Zio, HTTP 4S, Doobie probably sort of the nicest web technology stack you can use right now. They write their application in record time. It's really concise, it's really clean. Everybody is super satisfied with the, with the whole experience. They even use the new layers to wire everything up and avoid the ugly type errors. Then the, the, they do what every responsible developer does, deploy on a Friday and get a drink. Then on Saturday morning, they wake up to their uh, monitorings, uh, to their metrics, and see their response times are completely exploding. Something is going horribly wrong, and they need to figure out what is going wrong. So Bob is obviously an experienced developer. So what does he do? He does turn to profilers. And if you are coming from the JVM world, you have a good selection of stuff. You have JProfiler, Yorkit, Visual VM, or Async Profiler, for example. Of all of these, I would recommend Async Profiler by far. It's an amazing piece of software. Um, but in this example, I just use Visual VM. And we're not going to debug or profile a web application here, but a small example Zio application that has some interesting parts to it. So what we're doing here is we're just forking off a number of producers that are supposed to put a fi uh, fixed number of items into a bound queue. And we fork off a number of consumers that are going to take a number of items from this queue. And then we wait until everybody is done. Um, and as you can see, we have an uneven distribution of producers and consumers. So we can sort of already guess where the performance bottlenecks are going to be here. So we fire up Visual VM and profile this piece of code. And we get this result. So we spend most of our time in some pretty function called zero internal fiber context not to run until. OK. And everything else takes neg negligible amount of time compared to that. So let's look into run until. Nice. It's in some deep hidden corner of zero. Um, the implementation is horrible, and the first line of code that you see is null as instance of something. Um, basically, what was mentioned earlier about how Zio is implemented. Whenever you write your code, you're building up a data structure, right? And then you pass this data structure to the magical runtime that essentially trans executes this piece of code and gives you the resulting value. Now, the problem is that everything that operates on the front level will only ever see this execution part. So all this information that we have about when these different zero effects were constructed gets lost completely. And you're basically just stuck with the information. Actually running your program takes most of your time, which is not particularly useful. So in this obviously does not work. So we need to turn to other tools for this. And this is where something comes in that is called causal profiles. Actually, when we go back to this example, we are mixing two issues here. We are, one is a limitation of, of profilers that are not fiber aware, and the other is of normal sampling profilers, but I will sort of mix both problems here. 
But to be honest, you could solve these two problems separately. But we're going to look at causal profilers. This is a topic that was introduced about four years ago with a paper that came out 2016 called CAUSE, Finding Code That Counts With Causal Profiling. And this profiler was based on GDB debug information and made for native code, so that's not really applicable to the JVM directory. There is a Java fork of it, but it's sort of experimental and sort of badly maintained. And it still runs into this issue of not being fiber aware. So it also would only run, uh, see the fiber contacts not run until. But the idea of this whole thing is extremely simple. Essentially, instead of sampling, instead of sort of just looking at what every single thread is doing and then just measuring which lines of code get executed how often, this is based on running experiments. So it will uh, collect all lines of code that your program is executing, then pick one of them at random and speed it up to magic. And this magic works by a very simple idea. Instead of speeding up a particular line of code, I can slow down everything that runs at the same time as this line of code. Um, of course, I have to sort of compensate in my expectation for the runtime of the whole project, uh, of the whole program. But using this, I can essentially pretend that my, my particular line of code is, slow, is faster by some percentage. And this just means, OK, we're breakpointing essentially somewhere in a fiber. And if the fiber context hits that particular line, every other fiber that runs at the same time is getting delayed a little bit. So we can try profiling our example application with this. And the only two things that we need to do is we define a progress point. So we just say causal profiler dot progress point and give it a name. And this is a, a normal UIO. It has no environment, nothing. So you do not need to change how your application is wired, nothing. And then at some point in your program, you're just going to say, okay, causal profiler dot profile. This thing has only a single configuration parameter, which is how many, okay, to, how many experiments you're going to run and sort of which which, uh, which packages you're interested in for your uh, for performance optimization, and then you give it your program. And then you can say, okay, take this result and write it to a file. And this is everything you need to do, you run it. And then the nice people from Calls already op um, provide you a UI where you can upload these profiles and take a look at them. So for our example application, we can take this, upload it and take a look. And it's going to give us three lines. Um, this line information will keep improving. We are piggybacking on top of Zio's tracing information, which you will learn about more later. Um, but there's still room for improvement there to make those really, really nice and sort of give you better, better locations, location information. But essentially, it gives us three uh, candidates. It's giving us some line in ZQ and two lines in this experiment. Um, these two lines, so the causal profiler consumer example two, uh, ones, are essentially the repeat operations. So it's saying if we can repeat uh, quicker, we will consume more items, which sort of makes sense. And then there is the ZQ one, which is quite interesting. If we look at this one, this is exactly pointing us, okay, ZQ.take. So a lot of our, our um, uh, a lot of potential for speed up is if you make take faster. So essentially we're saying okay, we're bottlenecked on the consumer side. Um, and this is what's keeping the whole program slow. And if you, rem if you go back to the beginning where I introduced this, we have five consumers versus 20 producers. So it makes sense that consumers are the slow part of our application. And by cranking this up, we effectively make take faster and improve throughput for the whole application. And yeah, this is essentially it. If you sort of just want to pick one takeaway from this whole presentation is that regular profilers really don't, do not mix at all with, fiber, with functional effects and fiber-based concurrency in general. Um, on the other hand, you need to have tailor-built profilers and 0 2.0 with uh, 2.0 X will have a proper built-in profiler that you can use. Um, 
This thing is built on top of Zero Supervisor framework, the same stuff that ZMX is based on. And in general, this gives sort of infrastructure developers that want to use Zero a lot of options to peek deeply into the runtime and gives you callbacks when different things get executed. So it's really, really easy to build quite sophisticated tools on top of this. I think the entire application uh, implementation of the profiler is currently like 500, 600 lines of code. So it's really, really concise. And zero tracing information to essentially give you the lines. So every zero, whenever you get you construct it, um, essentially tracks where it was constructed using a macro. And uh, there is more work into making this stuff even better and then also profilers and all other tools based on this will become better and better. So this will land in zero to the low, so you can look forward to it. If you're interested in this whole topic about causal profiling, check out the, the original paper, it's super interesting. And also check out the, the upstream repository, which was used as a reference implementation. They also have a bunch of talks linked and um, you can get lost just reading the blog post and it's all quite cool. And that's it. Um, thank you for listening. Um, you can find me on LinkedIn, find me on GitHub. And if you're interested in sort of using Zio to solve very interested, interesting problems in tech, you can also take a look at open career um, opportunities at Life Intent where I'm currently working. Um, so with that, I'm going, giving it back to John. Thank <laughs> you.